Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Stasma here. Welcome to this new episode of Schlappy Patching. Today we are going to talk a look at a patch mostly devoted to creating rhythms out of the two nibblers and the bit mix. But you could use any two clock dividers or gate or trigger generating things and any other type of logic module. But those three are really a driving force in the Schlappi system when it comes to creating weird patterns. And you can really interact with them in a fun way because most of it is operated by switches. Let's dive right in. Here is our basic patch. It's all centered around the bit mix. I have two nibblers clocked with the same clock. So these four outputs are going straight into in one, two, three, four here in the bit mix. And the second nibbler is going at, in opposite directions. They are crossing path into the logic section. So I made different drum sounds. Using different parts, and this is not really important. So if I flip all those switches from the first lane of inputs, first column, I get the rhythms from this nibbler. And if I start to flip the other switches, they start to get logicified by this nibbler. So each time we change something somewhere, we have a new pattern. Changing the logic operation is one of the most fast way to get a full new rhythm. Add is going to be the busiest because it will add some bits. And is usually the quietest. Let's change this to a fast clock. this kind of patch I like to use the stepped output that I haven't used yet to control envelope length. As 
using the bound inputs on the boundary will change at the same time the output level of the envelopes and their length. Plus you don't break the internal feedback path that allows you to make very snappy exponential envelopes. even more weird results. We could cross-patch the nibblers. <laughs> 